last time on Total Drama Island. The 11 surviving campers were put through Master Chief Hatch's brutal boot camp. Duncan was the first to be sent to the brig by Major Harshness for disorderly conduct. Shocker. But what was a surprise was when by the book Courtney smuggled food to POW Duncan. The two proceeded to pull a B&E to steal some PB&J and ended up K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Lashana won her stripes for the Gophers, and the bass smelt something fishy when Courtney was suddenly voted off. Confession cams revealed that it was Harold who tampered with the boats to get back at Duncan for torturing him, which seems a bit unfair. I mean, hello, he's a bully. That's what they do. Bird's gotta fly. Fish has gotta swim, dude. Let a player play. This week, the campers are pushed to the extreme. Who will crack under the pressure? Find out right now on Total Drama Island. The moment that I'm doing fine, you guys are on my mind. You ask me what I wanted to be, and now I think the answer is playing C. I want to be famous. I want to live close to the sun. Or pack your bags, because I've already won. Everything to prove, nothing in my way. I'll get there one day. Flexing your muscles for today's Extreme Sport Challenge! Ugh, it's too early for this. This week, you'll participate in three challenges. First up, Extreme Sofa Bed Skydiving! Contestants will plummet, uh, skydive to a waiting sofa bed target below. Of course, you'll be skydiving from 5,000 feet and using these. <gasps> Our lucky contestants are Trent and DJ. Sure, why not? You know what they say on Blackcomb Mountain, bro. Best glimpse of heavens on the way into hell. Let's do this. Yeah, uh, sure, bring it on. Not so fast. Because the second challenge of the day is Extreme, Extreme Rodeo, rodeo Moose Riding. Riding! Contestants will rodeo ride the great Canadian bucking moose for eight seconds or get hoofed into a giant pile of socks from the lost and found. That stank foul ain't nothing but laundry day back home. It's your lucky day, Lashana. You're riding for gophers and Jeff. You'll ride for bass. <gasps> he doesn't look too bucky to me. Hi, beautiful. And the final challenge, extreme sea do water skiing. Contestants will water ski a race course, grabbing as many flags as they can before crossing the finish line, while a member from the opposing team drives the sea do. How can we water ski without water? It's really hard. Check it out. <laughs> awesome! Harold, you'll ski for 
for killer bass. Sweet. And Lindsay for the screaming gophers. You all? I can model my new bikini. Now for the cool swag. Whoever scores the most challenges gets bragging rights for the night, saves their butts from elimination, and wins a tricked out multi massage mobile shower. It be uh -huh. a sour. How about something good? Mm. Listen to me, you marshmallow eating goof. We are gonna win that shower if it's the last thing we do. Got it? <laughs> okay, gang. Ciao for Brecky. Then report back in 20 minutes for the Evergreen Sport Challenge. Oh. Sweet crap, bro. For the girl with smoldering eyes. Check it out. It's a corny haiku poem. Whoa. <laughs> Some dude's crushing big time. It's probably for you. Really? I was gonna say it was for you. But Trent is totally crunching on you. I've seen the way he always scams an extra muffin for you. Yeah, but Jeff is so into you. Remember at the dock yesterday how he tried to get your attention? <laughs> then again, Jeff probably couldn't pronounce haiku, let alone write one. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. He's just not exactly the scholarly type. Oh, and I suppose Trent is busy boning up on his Nietzsche in his spare time? I think Trent is more nietzsche than Jeff is haiku-y. haiku, -y. haiku -y? <laughs> Well, at least Jeff isn't a poser. Trent probably doesn't even write his own songs. Mm. Uh. 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 <gasps> Tell you what, Betty. I'll bet you two nights dessert that the poem was for me. Oh, I'm up for that. Down with that. Whatever, you're on! Now, remember, ground teams can wheelie the sofa beds wherever they want in order to help their comrade with the landing. Sayonara, Trent. I hope your attempts to impress weird goth girl are worth the chalk outline. Uh, did you ever think that maybe Trent's doing this as a form of self-expression, like haiku? Or not? <sighs> okay, so it wasn't my most subtle sleuthing moment. If you could just fill these out! But we already signed insurance forms at the beginning of the show. Yeah, but these are for organ donation. I have this cool cannibal challenge I want to pitch to the producers, and this will go a long way toward budgeting free props. Here comes the drop, boys! I don't see the drop zone. Ideas. Oh. At least it'll be a soft landing. Uh, I don't think I can do this, man. Don't worry, dude. I'm sure you hit the matches. Ah! Oh. Uh, writing someone's name in the snow with your pee? Uh, actually, I was thinking more of the written word. Oh, you mean like a tattoo? Oh, yeah. 
I've got one on my butt. Want to see? Nothing's broken. you want to ask me before they take you to get, uh, reboned? Yeah. Is my hair messed up? Okay, okay cow, cow folks, folks, let's, let's start. start! The Rodeo Moose Challenge! Yeah. Rodeo riding's kind of like surfing. Once you catch the lip, you just flow with the mojo. <laughs> Yeah, flow. Kind of like the ancient art of Japanese haiku. What's a haiku? <sighs> hey, Bridge. <laughs> Want to see that tat? Whoa. Definitely not haiku y. Wait a minute. Pause that. Let's just rewind that shot and run it in super slow-mo. I'm embarrassed. This is so degrading. I mean, just look at me. Can we just please get a decent budget together for hair and makeup? I look like I just fell out of bed. Jeez. No, seriously? That, that is some prank stuff. The shot. Let's get it. You got a moose burger recipe handy. <laughs> Easy boy. You don't want to make me mad now. <laughs> Sweet mother of So, your guy's a metro with a broken back. So, your guy's a grammatically challenged skater flake. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the best you got. Uh, you got okay. Nothing. So, it wasn't Trent or Jeff. Yeah, plus we kind of just assumed it was for us. Well, whoever it is, we're gonna find out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Deal? I'm ready! We are so dead. Unless... I get to drive the wave jumper! Just win the dang shower so I can get my hair did. This is it. We're tied for the win. Bad to the bone Duncan is driving Lindsay. I'm skiing for the bass. Winning is inevitable. Goodbye wedgies, wet willies, and toilet face plunges. Hello, Dirty Harold. Okay, so Haiku's candidates are Duncan, Harold, DJ, or Owen. Well, we know Duncan was crushing on Courtney, so he's out. And Harold is... Ladies. Oh! Yeah. I'll take Owen, you take DJ. You are so out of your league, Alpha Geek. Here's the road rules. Oh, wait, there are no rules, which means this is gonna be awesome. So, read any good poems lately? So, asked any arbitrary way out of left field questions lately?
finish line or be disqualified. But when she does, Harold will take five flags to victory for the killer bass. I couldn't let that little dorkwad win, so I decided to cut him loose. to make Harold lose his concentration, but it's a total wipeout for the Bass team. Boobies. So, if we win, is there a someone special you'll be uh, showering for? Why would I need to shower? We're in the wild. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh. Ready. Set! Ride it like it's Sweeps Week! Go! Flag one! You are my skunky friend. So I landed in a pile of socks. Big deal. I can't sink that bad, can I? The bass team went belly up and will now decide which fishy to flush, while the gophers totally scored some much needed showers. <sighs> What's up with chicks and showers? So we ruled out Owen and DJ. I know. So who could it be? Who could what be? Another note from your secret admirer, Lashana? Lashana's, Lashana's the, the crush, crush girl? girl? You two know someone else here with a booty as luscious as an apple? But who wrote it? As you know, if you do not receive a marshmallow, you will be forced to walk the dock of shame, and you can never, ever return to camp. Bridget and DJ, you were safe. <gasps> Jeff, you're, you're safe, safe too! Now. Muchos, luchos, compadre! Okay. That leaves Harold, who bailed big for reasons unknown. Boobies. And Duncan, who bailed even bigger because Lindsay left him circling the drain in a shameless... The chick was determined. Which is why you're safe. Harold, sorry dude, you're done like dinner. Well, it's been fun, guys. Farewell, Total Drama Island. I loved, I lost, and I saw boobies. What more can a man ask for? You loved? You're a man? You saw boobies? Lashana, I meant every word of that poem. Poem? That was you? No way. You some kind of freaky. If daddy some sugar. <gasps> the 
Shauna and Harold? I was as shocked as you. But you didn't read the letters. <laughs> mm, spicy. Wait a sec. So, Harold saw your boobies? Can we see? Heck no! Wait a minute. Whose boobies did you see? See now, you messed with the wrong sister. Oh, please. It was a total fluke. You think I'd actually show that dweeb my boobs on purpose? Uh, uh, get back here! Well, that's settled. Night. Night. <laughs> <laughs>